All right, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the secrets of Badgie's origin inside of Roblox Piggy. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to make this video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking all about the Badgie skin from chapter 12 of Piggy. I'm sure you guys have seen this guy. I'm sure you guys have played with him. I, I know he's a very loud skin. Like literally, if you get attacked by him, it is so loud. <laughs> And there are a lot of mysterious questions surrounding this skin. Like, why is his arm green? What's up with his different colored eyes? Why is his arm completely black? Is he a robot? Like, what's going on with him? We're going to answer all those questions in this video. Before we get started, though, I do want to say congrats to these guys on screen for winning our Robux code giveaway from yesterday. And because you guys liked it so much, we're going to do one more of these. So if you want to win a Robux code, go ahead, leave a comment down below with your Roblox name, Twitter name, Discord name, some way for me to contact you. And make sure you are subscribed so you, you, you can be notified when you win because if you if you're not subscribed then i can't let you know that you won and then you won't be able to get your card so subscribe anyway let's talk about badgie because honestly this skin has confused me for quite some time he just randomly shows up in chapter 12 and then that's that's it he's gone so the first thing i want to talk about is what exactly is badgie so i'm going to put up an image of badgie up on the screen so looking at this picture of badgie i i've seen so many different suggestions and theories regarding this maybe he's a panda maybe he's a different type of bear maybe he's a polar bear is he a robot is he a scientist well, what exactly is he so first let's go through the facts and then we'll go through the theories so as i'm sure you all have done if you go around chapter 12 inside the power plant there are a bunch of mysterious notes most of them are by mr p but a few of them are actually by the researchers that worked with mr p so quick recap for the people that need a refresher mr p worked with a team of researchers to help develop the cure and well once the hospital fell to the infection and everyone there started getting infected while well, they moved to the power plant that's that's why everyone and everything is here so i'm gonna go ahead and read one of these secret notes from the plant chapter this is it right here it says we should have been careful when moving our equipment here i may have come into contact with substance 128 substance 128 is basically the the code name for the piggy virus for the people that didn't know there's also another note that says this is the perfect place to continue our research from the hospital as this is the source of some of the ingredients we use so those two notes were written by the researchers and it seems like you know fact wise mr badgie here he's one of the research team now we don't know what happened to the rest of the researchers they probably got infected and the only one left around is in fact badgie but we can confirm badgie is a part of the research team so we got that covered now we also know that robots can't get infected like robbie from the the mall chapter he's not actually infected he's just uh, in guard mode he's a robot he's an attack robot so badgie he's not a robot with that being said we do know that badgie and the rest of the research team did modify and turn mr p into a cyborg to better protect himself from the virus so i think it's very likely that badgie probably did the same thing here if we take a look at Badgie's legs, you'll see that they are the gray metalish texture that we see on Robbie and we see on the um, legs of Mousy herself. So what I think is going on here is I think Mr. Badgie here has just modified himself to make himself a little bit better protected against the virus and be able to run away or fight the piggies if he comes into contact with them. Now, unfortunately for Mr. Badgie, that, that's not exactly what got him. As we can tell from the note, it would appear that this guy came into contact. He touched a little bit of the substance. One, two, wait. Now, this is where things get interesting because this is where we get into his green eye and his green arm along with the green lightsaber looking thing he's holding in his hand so first off no that's not a lightsaber he's not a jedi he's not luke skywalker or anything like that what that is is it is a vial of substance one two eight and the reason why i know this is well it'll make sense in a minute but he touched it we know that from the note we know that they were collecting a bunch of ingredients from this place to make into substance one two eight so that they can recreate the the cure for the virus the, the cure now this is where things get really interesting because Badgie is the first skin where we see the virus actually start to like modify his actual body. Obviously, when you get infected, your eyes change, your eyes turn to red, just like we've seen from the plethora of other skins in the game. If you are infected, your eyes are red or a different color, or you know, you look a little bit crazy. But with Badgie, whenever he touched this substance, it actually turned his arm green. We know that his arm by default is just black. He's a he's a badger. You can tell from the other his other arm, his normal arm, and you can still see shades of green or shades of black i should say on his infected arm but it's starting to just get overtaken by green because he touched this substance so now the question is why in the world is badgie's arm and body actually getting changed and modified by the virus when none of the other skins actually did that now this could be a variety of different things maybe as the virus is out there in the wild it starts to mutate and it starts to become something a little bit different this is a very common thing it happens all the time in real life for example the the flu 
you know, every year people have to get a flu shot. And the reason why is because every year the flu, you know, it mutates and changes ever so slightly so that every year it's a little bit different. So what could be happening here is the piggy virus could be mutating and changing a little bit to where it's starting to kind of take on a life of its own, starting to modify itself, become something a little bit different and starting to just fully take over the body of the infected. If that is the case, I'm sure we'll see more of that inside of piggy too. What I do think is happening here though is I think our friend Badgie here because he touched such a concentrated source of this this cure it actually like just completely destroyed his arm and started destroying his body so let me put this in a way that most people will probably understand you guys know like protein powder right I'm sure some of your dads some of your brothers some of your sisters they may take a lot of men use it to you know work out in the gym and what it is is it's like a giant jar of like powder right and in order to drink it or make it you put a little bit into a cup fill it up with water switch it around and then boom there you go you have a protein shake now that's kind of similar to the virus here they put a little bit mix it around and boom you have the cure right however what badgie did was he basically just ate the whole protein box the whole thing powder and all he touched the pure concentrated source and that's why he looks so much different little complicated but hopefully that makes sense in other words he just straight up like had the virus on him there was no processing there was no whatever you do the virus. i'm not a scientist what do you do to what, what do you do to cures man whenever you like make medicine like you know you have to like switch it around and like process it and mix it with stuff. There was none of that. He just, he just, it was on his arm, dude. This is complicated. I'm not a scientist. Hopefully you guys understand. And as for the thing he's holding, I think it's just like a giant vial, like a giant scientific test tube of this, this virus is unprocessed, unmixed, un anything, just, just straight up the cure. And then he's going around whacking people with it. It's going to get on them and then it's going to turn them into an infected too. And I think that's what's going on here. So hopefully this answers some of your badgy questions. Still a very mysterious character. There's still a lot of questions surrounding him. Maybe Minitune can give us some more answers with Badgie. And of course, if he does, make sure you're subscribed because, you know, I'll be making a video on it and you definitely don't want to miss it if he does. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe. As always, keep using star code real quick. It helps me out a lot. It allows me to just keep buying these Robux codes for you guys and just keep giving them out to you guys in streams and videos. So thank you guys very much for using star code real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I'm going to get this video out, get it edited for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.